uh, recorded and we'll have things to Facebook Live and I'll know how to do all this before we get to Sunday. I'll practice a couple more times, but here's my practice for this evening and it's good to see you all. Um, I am going to practice by reading uh, a little bit from a book by this wonderful author, Susan Verity. She writes the most beautiful children's books. It's illustrated by Peter H. Reynolds. And she has um, four I Am books and another one coming out in fall. I encourage you to go to amazon.com and look for her books. They are absolutely beautiful. Uh, I believe that she's a children's yoga instructor. And uh, let me just share with you her dedication to this book. Uh, it says, and I'm going to read this for the children's story on Sunday, so I'm not going to finish it today, and then you can pop on and look at the Sunday service and hear the rest of it uh, in the children's time there. Um, this book is my love letter to the world, as each one of us is worthy of love in all its forms and expressions, and we are all capable of adding light to the world when we listen to our hearts and choose love, love. SV. And then she says, to my mother, Hazel Reynolds, the queen of love. Isn't that great? We begin. When I see someone going through a storm of hurt and unfairness, of anger and sadness, when the sun disappears and the skies grow dark, I see there is fear, and I ask myself, what can I do to help get the light back in? I put my hands on my heart and listen, and that is where I find the answer. I have compassion, and I act with tenderness. I am love. I can listen and not say a word. I can be there. Love is being present. Even right now, we can be present for one another and listen in love, either on the phone or on the computer. Just be there in those ways. Send a letter. I can hug and say everything will be all right. Love is comfort. Lots of ways to comfort one another. I can speak softly and choose my words and actions carefully. Love is gentle. I can give thanks for all I have and I'm able to share. Love is gratitude. I can keep my mind and body safe and healthy. Love is taking care of me. And I think I'm going to stop there and read the rest to you. That will be a quick picture. And uh, I'll read the rest to, uh, to you when we have our worship service on Sunday uh, during the children's time. I absolutely love, love, love these books. And uh, I, I really encourage you. They're for grown-ups as well as children. I know they're children's books, but please know. And in the back, there are some wonderful yoga poses and and things that one could be doing. So please take a look at that and enjoy, enjoy the moments and especially pay attention to caring for one another. This completes test number two.